Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a new video about macOS 26 and it's going to be about this new app dock. Um, so this new app dock uh, is more different than the original one that we had on macOS um, Sonoma. And um, as you can see, we have all my iPhone apps, all my iPhone apps have synced in after this new update that's coming out uh, tomorrow. And as you can see, how do you know if it's an iPhone app is because it has the iPhone uh, icon right there. Um, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to remove all your iPhone icons off of this thing. So they won't show no more and just the Mac OS apps will show. So what you wanna go to is go to settings, system settings, spotlight, as you can see. Scroll all the way down until you see iPhone apps right here. Turn that off. Go back to your spotlight and just Mac OS apps should come now. Um, I, and um, the phone app should stay because that is a new um, app for Mac OS uh, for iOS 26. Uh, Apple has implemented the phone calling into the Mac um, now, which it's going to use Wi-Fi calling. And it's going to use your main iPhone um, remotely. So that's basically how um, when you get a phone call from one iPhone, it will send it to all the Apple devices that have Wi-Fi calling on. So that's how you do it. Um, to change your Mac OS app dock to just show your Mac OS apps. Um, and this, by the way, Mac OS 26 should come out tomorrow on Monday, September 15th. Um, hopefully I'm not wrong. Um, but yeah, that's what I heard from all the news and basically from all the data that Apple has released, uh, software versions, it should always come out on Monday, on a Monday around this time of month. So yeah. And um, if you're updating to Mac OS 26, iOS 26, iPad OS 26, or Watch OS 26, expect some lag, a little lag. Um, as you can see, there there was a little, I'm not too sure if you saw, but there was some lag um, around here and there. Um, there's going to be lag here and there um, with, of course, this new update. Um, so yeah, just expect some lag because it is it's still kind of laggy. It's been this has been what I've seen iOS uh iOS has been laggy too. Um since first beta public public beta cuz I only updated to public beta um this time around. I haven't updated to uh dev beta and um I have seen it's been kind of slow with gaming performance too on iOS. So expect some lag here and there, like I said. Um, also, if you don't want to upgrade to uh, iOS 26 or anything like that, um, there's going to be uh, iOS 18.7. It should be releasing same time tomorrow. So you're going to have that option before Apple will force you to up upgrade to iOS 26. And um, so, yeah, anyways, um, just expect that. And also, um, on the machine that I'm doing this uh, on is um, a MacBook Air 13-inch uh, M3 from 2024 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. As you can see, Mac OS, Mac OS Tahoe. Um, so yeah, Mac OS 26.0, and that's the build number for this um, OS version. So yeah, if you're wondering, yeah. Um, but that's all. Hope you guys like this simple video of just removing those apps. When I first updated it, I was confused and was kind of um, a little bit upset about that. But now that I realize that you can do that, um, it's going to be much more better. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like this video. Comment, like, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.